this is Pentracy and welcome back to my channel! So now, I can show you what to do once we encounter these coordinates while doing the clue scroll. So these coordinates will show you the specific place or area where you can find the hidden chest or the next clue. So in order for you to solve these coordinates, you will need to have the sextant, the watch, and the chart. So where can I find these items? First, you need to check your toolbox that can be found in the worn equipment icon, which has the helm icon, and then down below you will see this tool or uh, this belt icon, which is the toolbox. Once you open it, you will see all the items that you previously added in a tool belt. As you can see, I already have the the watch, the chart, and the sextant with me. So once you have the three important items, you can start solving the clue. So to use the sextant, you can just right-click the clue scroll and you will see all the options in here. So just click the sextant and it will show you the specific coordinates in this area. So now, once you see these coordinates, you will need, you will need to compare this with the coordinates found on your clue scroll. So just compare it with this. So these are the coordinates that we actually need to find. So as you can see, we have the north and the west in here. These two information are vital information that we need to find the area. So by looking at this, we have an idea now that it's either in Riftinos, in Eagle's Peak, Ardrone, Sears Village, or in Premnik Province. So earlier, I tried using the sextant in every lodestone and I found out that it's actually in eagle speak so i can show you why so now i can just um teleport to eagle speak and try the sextant in there so earlier when i tried um when i tried the sextant in in the lodestone i managed to compare it with my um with my clue scroll and actually um, it's actually the same like the coordinates are quite the same So I only need to have like few differences in here or try to move few distance just to get the exact coordinates So you actually need to compare it with the coordinates found in your clue scroll So to avoid clicking or opening and closing the clue scroll You can either write this down in a piece of paper or you can take a photo using your phone so like what i did earlier i took a photo using my phone so um it saves me time trying to look for the specific coordinates in any in every area so what i did from the lodestone i went down south and then i climbed over the fence in here so i can show you now where you can actually find the exact place of these um, coordinates so i can show you again this is the coordinates these are the coordinates that i got from the clue scroll so just climb over the style and then you can pass through this gate and then go through another gate in here so now when you go in the corner um and use the sextant in here you will see that the coordinates are somehow similar with what i got so they said in order to dig the chest you will need to be in the specific um to the exact coordinates that's written on your clue scroll so i have to move north a little bit to the north so i'll try the sextant again to check if it's exact so um yeah it's 31 north so i need to move further north there you go i hope this is the right one now so there we go um we got somehow similar with the coordinates on my blue scroll so once you are sure you can try digging it so click our uh, right click the clue scroll and dig it and there you go you will get the, the scroll box that you will need for your next clue yes so this is the other clue that I need to solve to get the reward that I need. So now, I will give you an idea 
if if ever you don't have the item status such as the sextant the chart or the watch i can show you now where you can get it first you will need to speak to the observatory professor found in the observatory northwest of the castle wars so you will actually need to um you can either teleport to yanil and run north to go to the observatory or the quickest way to go there is by using the ring of dueling so if you got ring of dueling with you this ring you can just right click it use the rub and then click the castle wars arena so the easiest way to go to the observatory is by teleporting to the castle wars arena using this ring of dueling so once you arrive in the ring of uh, in the castle wars arena you can just run towards north so pass through this bridge and run to the north so as you can see here this is where we are right now and the observatory is found in here you will then need to find the professor and talk to him regarding the items that you need with the treasure tr uh, treasure trails so since i already finished the observatory quest um i actually can found him inside the uh, inside the um, observatory where the telescope is so if you haven't done the observatory quest you can find him in here but if you've done it already you just need to climb over the rope i mean climb the rope and then climb up the stairs and just talk to him regarding treasure tra trails so click him and then talk about the treasure trails and then you can read the dialogue if you like but um, he can remind you how to navigate. It can also tell you where you can find the sextant, the chart, and the watch. Actually, the chart can be given by him, but the sextant and the um, the watch you will need to get it from the different um, from the different NPCs. So once you finish talking to him, you can go and get the other items, and you can add it on the toolbox. So you can um. The sextant can actually be found um, near Yanil, near um, Port Kassar, if I'm mistaken. So just teleport to Yanil and go to south. So from Yanil, um, Yanil Lodestone, sorry, from Yanil Lodestone, go to the east. So I'm showing you right now where you can find or when, where you can get the, the sextant. So you will actually need to talk to the NPC, um, so you'll you will get this item. So from Yanil, you can go to the north, northeast, to Port Kasard. Give me a second. Actually, yes, Port Kasard here. So we need to talk to somebody in here. Oh, yeah, there we go. So you actually need to talk to Murphy regarding the sextant. So once you talk to him, you will um, discuss about the sextant and he will give it to you. So this is where you can find it. So once you get the sextant from Murphy, you can now go to Ardon. Teleport to Ardon and you can get the, the watch from the NPC found in the clock tower. So what you need to do is you need to run south from the lodestone and go down to the um, clock tower. So pass through the bank and go south. It's actually further south. The run down. So re remember, you will not be able to get or dig the clue scroll or the chest um, if you don't have these three important items with you. So you will need the sextant, the chart, and the watch. So the sextant can be, get, can be retrieved um, from Murphy found in Port Cassard. And the, um, the watch can be retrieved in the clock tower, which is this is the clock tower from this NPC. Um, 
need to find him. Oh yeah, here, from Brother Kojo. So you will just have to talk to him regarding the, the watch and it will give it to you. So before you can do that, remember to talk to the observatory professor first found in the observatory north of Castle Wars. And there you go, you will have all the items needed in solving the coordinates. So thank you everyone for listening. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and write down your comments and suggestions down down. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Hope you learned something new. Take care.